convex mirrors. It's worth it. Let's do it. I'm gonna, oh my goodness. I'm gonna say that I've got, oh man, I am not left-handed. I'm gonna say that I've got a mirror over here. It's simply a question of where I'm putting the dang thing, and I'm going to give you a, um, a center of curvature, which seems to be right where I was holding it, and I'm gonna give you an axis right here. That axis goes through normal to it, so there's C. But the thing is, the focal point is still over here. It turns out the focal point is half of the radius of curvature. So, or you could also, I don't, it depends on how your book's gonna do it. You could say that F is one half C also. So this is half the distance to right there because of the splitting the angle thing. And we're slightly waving our hands for, um, <clears throat> for spherical things uh, rather than um, parabolic reflectors. So this is where I'm gonna say the rays are acting. Remember, the, the mirror is curving away, but I have to say the rays act or bend as if they'd gone right there. So uh, the, the thing about a convex mirror is that the shiny side is over here. This is the shiny side. And I'm gonna give you a few rays again. First of all, we definitely agree that if a ray came in from here, it would leave from there, where this angle is the same as that angle, all right? Now, the interesting thing about a convex mirror is there's actually light over here, but when you look at light that's over here, you think that it came from over there. So I'm gonna make dotted lines over on the right side, even though this entire side over here is dark. So for a convex mirror, this is a convex mirror, I'm gonna actually say that F is negative, one half r. And that means that the focal point is on the opposite side of the light. It's on the opposite side of our object. And so there's stuff over here, real stuff happening over here, and the focal point's on the wrong side of it, which is a little bit silly, but that's what that minus sign is telling us. So let's get another ray going here. Here's a ray. It's gonna come in parallel, and it's going to leave as if it had come from the focus. This is a little bit wacky. It's gonna leave as if it had come from the focus. So I can start by drawing a dotted line right there and then saying that is where the ray goes, comes in and leaves as if it came from the focus. So there's all these as ifs in convex mirrors because your eye believes that stuff's on the other side of the mirror. Do you think there's a camera on the other side of this mirror? You think so? There is, reach down there and grab it. You can't get a camera. Okay, <clears throat> hopefully you read some Lewis Carroll. Next up, you could have a ray that, watch this one, you could have a ray that seems to be heading towards the focus. Watch this. If it's going towards the focus, here we go, going towards the focus, then when it hits the active plane of the mirror, it will leave parallel. So these rays are kind of opposites to each other. This one that's coming in parallel, leaving as if it came from the focus. This one actually going towards the focus and leaving parallel. Watch this. The dotted line here doesn't go to the focus. The dotted line shows where it looks like it came from. This dotted line goes right here because it looks like that ray of light came from right there. And then there's one more, what we want to talk about, and I'm gonna say that that one is actually coming in, what can we do, blue? That one is actually coming in normal to the surface, and that means it's pointing towards C. So I'm gonna have to draw, I'm gonna have to draw something a little bit carefully. It's coming in normal to the surface, so it's gonna look like it's trying to hit C and I'll get some dotted lines going here, and it's gonna hit C, and then it comes back out, also normal to the surface, so it goes in and comes out, and that's going to be called my C-ray. It comes in and goes out as if it had come from the same place that it, well, it's going towards where it came from, and it's as if it came from the C. So let's put all of these things together in a general sense in the next video.